A. What is up, guys? Today is a new day. I hope you guys are having a great day. Work towards goals, being productive, and absolutely freaking crushing it. So, guys, today is an interesting day. It's the day after probably one of the worst days. Worst? Not worst. Worse? Worser? One of the bad days in the last, like, long time. And that's because a lot of things happened yesterday. So all the bad things in a row, it was like, first thing, I started off the day cutting my finger on the drone, then my phone broke, and then I got in trouble with, and then a few other things with just, like, people and, like, and then I was driving my car home from Rogers, where I was going to go talk to them about my phone, and my car broke. And it's broken not for good, it just needs the whole new transmission now, unless we can weld the drive shaft, which I've been told I can't do. So, the situation I'm in right now is I have no money and a lot of stuff to do. So, with that, I'm gonna make this video into a, an infomercial. It's an infomercial for all the stuff that I have and I'm going to sell. Okay. That Mario block is for sale. There's an ounce of silver buried in the middle of that. The cleaver up there. Also, this rainbow handled knife that there's only one of. That little guy there. The wooden knife that I've carved. This carving. The tiny little coffee table that I made. The first chess piece I ever turned. I suppose that he's for sale. That's the first thing that I ever, ever... Tiny wooden acorn. This right here, this brass and aluminum cannon that I made. In grade 11 metal shop. Then the fidget button. My logo. My first ever copper inlay. A couple more pipes. Pipes. Um... I don't know if you want that pen, but it doesn't really work very well. This Zelda wood burning and that knife right there. All of these tiny wire trees. This really big wood burning, if you're a, a Patriots fan, I'll take it down off the wall for you. And, of course, this lamp that I made. I mean, just look at how beautiful this is. Mmm, mmm. Those are hand-turned half eggshells right there that are hanging by the blue wire, like all the blue goes together. Look at that light switch. I mean, just look at that grain. So all those bow ties were cut in by hand. That's a piece of walnut. The bow ties were even cut in by hand on those eggshells. We also have this, which was made in a vlog. That guy right there. And heck, how about the first thing that I ever made in a cabinet shop? This chess table right here. Just a lovely little thing. Top rails, bottom rails, and then also a little drawer. Yeah, pull down on it just a little bit. And it's because there's quite a bit of weight in there. I've got a set of aluminum checkers. There's a full set of aluminum checkers that are knurled that I made in the metal shop. And also a full set of brass checkers so that you can play with metal checkers like this. And also a set of wooden checkers right here that are the exact same wood as the tiles on the top here. And those all sit neatly in this drawer. Oh yes, and who can forget the electric guitar. So you do have to note that this is a wall hanger. It is, it's not a functioning guitar. It's made out of solid cherry for the body, curly maple for the pick guard with purple heart inlaid in it. Then the neck is made from solid walnut with a walnut and maple fingerboard. And then there's some paduck up there and the bone nut is made out of ebony. So a total of seven different kinds of wood in this guitar and it's all colored matched to perfection, but it doesn't play. The electronics could be hooked up, but the neck just would need to be remade to be make it playable. That being said though, it is still for sale and I will make a wall bracket for you if you would like this because I haven't made a wall bracket for myself yet. And coming back downstairs, we've got this box right here with my two Zippos in it. That is for sale with or without the Zippos, it's your choice. These are my first two Zippos, but if you really want them, they can be included with this little purple heart box that displays both of them. It's got little pin hinges in the back. Also along with that, maybe you are a cigar smoker. This box was made for a DIY video on how to make a cigar humidor. It will not come with this cigar. The cigar will be thrown out in there for the video. This box right here, cedar line side, will keep your cigars in really good shape. It's also completely coated with shellac and it is polished really smooth. You can see that, look at it shine. Mm, it's even got a little bit of dust on it. 
We also have my wooden brass weighted knuckle dusters. Those are the first ones I ever made. Didn't really want to let them go, but I will for this sake. Along with knuckle dusters, if you want a pair, here is this very difficult to make leather and veneer knuckle dusters. They are made of leather and wood veneer. And they are just as solid, if not more solid. Ooh, moving over here. How about this? I also made this for a DIY video. A wooden chain. And another DIY video. This was a project just to see if it was possible. Making a wooden chisel. This is made of very hard wood. This is ebony, which is sanded. It's not even finished. There's no finish. It's sanded that smooth, just glassy smooth. And then an apple wood handle. Or how about the mallet that I use in all my videos? The mustached, crowned, caped peanut. And along with tools that I've made, I want a tiny brass hammer. That'll be in there too. Let me know. I'll polish the head up before I give it to you though. Ooh, what about an alien head carved out of a piece of basswood? Also, if we go over here, we've got this print making print that I made. It's uh, an eight by 11 or so. Pretty large print there. And that was something that I made with a print plate and a printing press. Got quite a story behind it. And there is a limited run of 10 of those prints. And this is the fifth one. I have maybe four left of those. And also the printing plate. So if you want that. All right, and here comes one of the last things. I actually have to go upstairs to get this. So heavy, but maybe I'm not as strong as I used to be. Holy crap. Yep, that's right. That is the end table that I made in grade 11. All maple and walnut construction for glassy smooth. It's got a drawer right here. This is something that I told myself I would never sell, but I think this is, this is an occasion too, and I've kind of just let go of possessions as like materialistic objects so I can always make myself another one if I ever need one down the road but these are half lap book mat walnut boards that I made for the bat they are an eighth of an inch thick on both sides and these panels on the side are solid through so the maple that you see right here is the maple that you see right here all right guys, behind me sits all of the things that are for sale. So I've went through all of them already, except for just a few over here, but I'll just do a pan across the whole table to show you guys. And then we've got this end table here, of course, with the drawer and secret compartment in it, which I can tell you guys about if you, uh, if you inquire about it. And then also the electric guitar, lamp is another one. And if you guys are really interested, I've got a gorilla head that is made out of pencil crayons and then also and then also a giant copper wire peacock that I made and a hand that is holding a wood burner. Those are all at uh, my old high school and I'll have to go grab them, but those are also there. There was a DIY video for all of them. No, actually there was only a DIY video for the wood burner. Okay, so quick pan across the table and thank you guys so much for watching this and email me at this email right here. If you would like any of these things, just um, shoot me a price that you'd be willing to pay on any of the things, make me an offer, and I will probably accept. And if not, I will just make you a counter offer, and we can work something out, whether we work through PayPal or I post it to my Etsy page and send you a private link to it. Whatever it may be, we will figure something out and we'll get to, to you. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope this video made some sense. And huge thank you to my Patreon supporters because you guys are absolutely incredible. Special thank you to Randy, Robin Bird, and Mike Maxwell. You guys are extra special. And that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys subscribe, if you already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. See you guys all next time. Peace out.